Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Moat, your favorite YouTuber, or at least I better be. But if not, it's okay. I still like you guys. Today, I'm going to have a very special video, as I always say, because I think all of these things are special when they deal with Clash of Clans. But guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into a new video of base reviews. Um, I'm not doing subscriber base reviews right now. I'm just going to be going over some of my clan mates um, because so often. When I try and do subscriber based reviews, like 50% of y'all don't actually remain in the clan that you were in. So eventually I might create an email address and have you guys send me high resolution photos that I can review. But that's the only way that that'll happen because otherwise I'm just wasting a lot of time looking around, trying to find bases that are not destroyed or that you're still in and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the clan, guys. And we're going to review about five of the top Crystal League players. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Take everything into note that you read, um, or that I say, not that you read, that I say, and if it applies to your base, guys, apply it. So listen to what I'm saying. Even though I'm not reviewing your base, you can still learn from it, and you can still apply it to your own. So first, we're going to go into Jacob. He is a Crystal League, um, obviously. We are doing a trophy push right now, and it's been pretty fun, but as you can see, he does have his... Town Hall outside, but he is at 2,200 trophies, and I'm fine with that being outside at this point. Um, but in review of this base, he does have his clan castle in the middle, which is priority, so that's awesome. Um, I don't know, I just noticed this, I don't know why his Dark Elixir storage with 27,000 Dark Elixir is right there, because this cannon and this wizard tower are being constructed, and this expo right there... Um, cannot reach an archer if it's placed right above this. So move that or else one archer can steal it all from you. <laughs> so that's a big no-no right there. Um, I do like seeing these mortars triangulated. Um, that is awesome. That's very, very good. It's also good to see these two air defenses inside the walls, even though they aren't protected too well. Um, it is good to see them within the walls. These two air defenses definitely need to be moved in um, because air defenses, especially up at your level, are very, very important. Um, as you can see right up here, you do have two sets of double walls, a set right there and a set right here. Um, that should be changed because double walls are no longer effective. They haven't been effective for about two months um, since the wall breakers were patched. They now do splash damage. So I would definitely take those walls and maybe um, box in your air defenses or something along those lines. Um, but they definitely don't need to be like that because it's not doing anything for you. It's honestly just a waste of walls. Um, it is good to see your expos triangulated as well. I might like to see them inside the walls a little bit further, um, but that's not too bad at this point in time. So really, the biggest things that I think you need to do are um, move this Dark Elixir in because it's going to get stolen real quick. Um, also, you need to upgrade your wizard towers. These are level 4s. There's one level 5. This one's going up to level 5. That's way too low for Town Hall 10. You definitely rushed... Town Hall 10. Um, so upgrade your wizards first and foremost, um, but don't do more than one at a time like you're doing right now because this whole top side right here where these wizards are is completely unprotected by that sort of splash damage, which isn't good. Only upgrade one of each thing at a time so that you're not at a loss. But um, besides the fact that you rushed, I mean, it looks, it looks better than a lot of rush bases I've seen. Um, good job with the triangulating, as I said. Um, but, yep, yeah, definitely upgrade your wizards and move this Dark Elixir in and get rid of these double walls. And I think that'll help put you in the right direction, all right? Let's return home and go into the clan. Let's go next to um, the one just joined. So, I'm sorry, I'm not going to review you. I'm going to review the people that have been here in a little bit longer. So, let's go down to BJ Rocks and let's visit his base and see what is going on with him. Um, he is obviously in Crystal League as well. He is a Town Hall 8. Um, and it looks like he is, yep, he's using my hurricane base design. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. This base is really, really good. Um, I like it a lot. It's working flawlessly for me. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. As you can see, he does have his clan castle as centralized as possible besides the town hall. So, perfect job with that. Um, these mortars cover practically the entire base, which is exactly what you want them to do, as well as these wizard towers being triangulated. Um, that is awesome. That's exactly what you want. They are level 5, so I would definitely upgrade those to level 6. This one's level 4, so upgrade that one first. Um, it is good to see your air defenses in here as well. They are all, two of them are level 4, one's level 5, so good job with that. I wouldn't focus on those until you get your wizard towers up, um... And your Teslas, guys, if you haven't seen the defense replays of this base, you need to watch it because Giants get crushed whenever they go for these Teslas. It's really, really funny to see, and it's awesome. Um, 
but it looks like you have upgraded your walls fairly well. Um, you still have a lot of level 6, but you're working your way up, so good job with that. Um, for the most part, it looks like you're pretty well, I mean, you're, you're pretty well off, especially since I like your base design. So, good job with that, BJ. Keep it up, man. Definitely upgrade your splash first, and then move on to your point defenses like your archers and your cannons. Um, Alright, so let's go back into the clan and see who's next. We're going to go down to Frosty, level 74. Um, and let's see what he's got going on. I believe, if I remember, yeah, so he's a Town Hall 10. Um, a little rushed, not as much as others, because he does have level 3 um, wizard towers, which is pretty low, um, especially for Town Hall 10. You do have one maxed, which is awesome, but you should have... You should have brought these up to um, a matching level before upgrading one all the way. Uh, so I like seeing the clan castle in the middle, as always, as well as these triangulated expos. That is awesome. Um, the mortars are triangulated as well, but this one is a little bit far out. I would try to reorganize it somehow to bring that in um, because it's very, very important for that to be a little more centralized. Um, your air defenses are within the walls, and they're pretty well protected down here, but these ones up here are a little vulnerable to attack, so um, I might even spread them out, because at this point, if a giant gets in there, he's going to destroy two air defenses, um, one right after the other, which could be bad, so I would definitely at least spread them out, uh, maybe put them where the elixir collectors are, or put one of them where it is, something along those lines, um, but I like the layout of the base. This whole section right here is open, which is good for kiting, if you will, um, kiting the giants around the base, which is going to be good because your expos can just continue shooting at them. So definitely good job with that. The main thing is going to be upgrading your wizards, moving in this mortar somehow, um, and yeah, it's slowly upgrading the rest of them. You did rush as well, but... The base isn't too bad, so good job with that, Frosty. Um, definitely just try and take my suggestions and work with them. Uh, next, we're going to go to Lays 68 Let's give him a little check out. Um, I've already reviewed Todd's base up at the top in a last video. Oh no, Lays has been destroyed. <laughs> um, if only he was on. As you can see, though, he does have um, pretty high level uh, wizards. Uh, he's Town Hall 9, but we're not really going to be able to review his base at this time. Sorry, Lays. I know, it's unfortunate. I have looked at your base before, though, and it's actually um, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty well upgraded for Town Hall 9. So let's move on to VK Hoodle. Um, let's see if his base is intact. Hopefully it is so that we can get another review going on. Um, it is not. So good job getting attacked. <laughs> we can't really do anything about that, guys. Um, so, sorry, let's continue working our way down to the next person in the line. Again, I'm not going to review the people that are new, um, just because they haven't been here as long and other people in the clan are waiting. So let's go to Schultz. Hopefully his base is intact um, so that we can uh, get another review going on. Yep, it is. So we have another Town Hall 8, and as you can see, he's using my base design as well. Um, for everyone that's used it, they've all said that they love it. Um, I think I'm sitting at like 10 and, 10 and 1 or 10 and 2 when it comes to defenses, so it's definitely awesome. But So obviously, I like the layout of everything. I love the layout of everything. It's what I use in my base. Um, if I were you, you definitely need to upgrade your wizards. I would do that next. Um, don't do them all at one time, like I said earlier, because then the center is missing two of the most important defenses. So upgrade one at a time. Um, they can overlap by a day or so if you really want to, but those definitely need to be the next thing um, that are updated. Um, it looks like you your builders are doing something. I don't see exactly where they are, so one's working right here. Um, and then, I don't know where the other ones are, but definitely those should be the next upgrades for your defenses. Your mortars are maxed, so good job with that. Um, your archer towers look pretty good as well. Obviously, you can get all these up. You can get these up to level 10. Um, but the layout's good. <clears throat> Just upgrade your splash defenses. And that goes for anybody who's watching. Always upgrade your splash defenses first because they affect the most troops. Um, and honestly, they can be uh, the highest damage dealers of your defenses. So let's go ahead and review one more. Um, let's go to... <laughs> So there's Instagram, guys. If you want to, if you have Instagram and you want to follow me, go check me out. It's Malt underscore C O C. Uh, yeah, follow me on there. Let's go in and review the last guy. This is gonna be Riley Fisher, guys. Hopefully his base is intact. Um, and it is not. No. All right. You know, let's try and let's try and review one more. Um, I'm actually gonna go down and 
I'm going to skip through and I'm going to review the highest donator in the clan. Um, his name is Tomo, right here. Look at the look at that donation right there. Almost 4,500 donations. Tomo, you're crushing it. Thanks so much, man. Let's go ahead and review his base. If it's not um, intact, then we will move on. But it looks like it is. And once again, he is using my base. This is awesome, guys. It's so sweet to see that. Um, looks like you are upgrading things pretty well. Um, your wizard towers, especially this one, needs to be upgraded, um, as well as your mortars. Get those up. Um, I see that you're upgrading this Tesla to level 5. Wow. I would have upgraded these first. Um, so definitely, looks like you're upgrading all of your Teslas right now. Um, all three of them. Um, you do have a builder right here. So I would definitely use him, um, if you have the resources, to upgrade your wizard. So upgrade your wizards first. I would do one wizard on this side and then a mortar on this side. I wouldn't completely cripple out one side of the splash defense because then this side is going to be very vulnerable to attack. Um, so work on your wizards and your mortars and then you'll be good to go. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. You guys are awesome. Um, I do have an interesting uh, army comp coming up with P.E.K.K.A.'s Golems and Balloons. So we'll see how that goes. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. You really are so much cooler than me. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the support. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And keep calm and clash on for me. I'll see you guys later.